Hi, I'm Paul Scurrell, yeah, the CEO of Timecode Systems. It's an interesting year for you guys. It's been a fascinating year. It's been a fascinating year. We've just launched a brand new product, which, which hopefully will change the game in multi-camera sync across the board. Now, this is all the way from DSLR, all the way up to pro cameras, high-end cameras. It's, it's a brand new Genlock and Timecode sync solution. Wow. Which is super, super miniaturized. So this is called the UltraSync, UltraSync 1. And we've learned from the miniaturization of the GoPro. We were forced to go that small for the GoPro. With the, with the sync back. Yeah. We've now used that, that level of miniaturization but in a, in a product which obviously fits into the professional prosumer market. So this product, believe it or not, I mean it's so super light, but that's got a battery in it that will last 25 hours plus with everything turned on. The OLED, wireless, it's got two diversity antennas built in. That's incredible. Jed lock switched on, LTC switched on, uh -huh. 25 hours plus from one single charge. Wow. Um, and it's the only product to actually have Genlock as well as timecode for this price point. So the second output here can be configured for a second LTC uh -huh. or Genlock or word clock if you're uh -huh. syncing an audio recorder. Amazing. So if you've got that with your sound devices, 644, 688, whatever, yeah. you can connect your word clock as well as your timecode to that. Right. If you then had that on a camera, you connect your timecode and your gen lock, uh -huh. and you're going to be perfectly in sync. Every audio sample will be in perfect sync with the video frame. Uh -huh. And that's a standalone product. In other words, it, it can talk on the Blink network, it, but yes. it doesn't have to. Correct. It's a standalone product, so it can be, it's a timecode generator, it can be a standalone generator. It can take timecode coming in from an external source, mm -hmm. whether it was the audio recorder, if that's how someone wants to configure it, or house timecode from a stadium or an outside broadcast, and then retransmit that on the RF, long range RF network as a master to other units configured as a slave. Uh -huh. So it's exactly the same as a lot of our other products like the Mini TRX and the Wave and the Pulse. They can be masters, they can be slaves, it depends on how you want to configure it. And then when it's in the slave mode, it will appear as a blink slave, which means that when you then connect this to a Pulse or a Wave, yeah. you will be able to open our app that's connected over Wi-Fi or Ethernet to the Pulse or the Wave and see the status of this unit and configure this unit and name the unit and keep an eye on the battery status and the sync output and setting user bits and name it so that you know what camera it's on. Yeah. All of those things that have sort of come standard now with our products, with the, and the applications obviously are free. Right. And that's not dependent on Bluetooth. That's a, that's a um, long range protocol to the master uh, and then Wi-Fi um, device to the master that interfaces. Correct. That yes. So we, what we've, what the very clear differentiation. Yeah. So very, very clear between the pulse and the wave and these devices is on a long range RF yeah. and that's on the sub gigahertz band so it's yeah. really robust. Yeah. You get the same range in here than you would do in the middle of a field and it's a bit of a city. And then we only use the Wi-Fi if you to go as a short range top between the wave and the pulse and the app. Right. So whether it's an iPad or, a, or an Android device or whatever. If you're in an area like NAB, this is a classic example where Wi-Fi never works. So in this example, if you're in a, a cart situation or a filming situation where you've got a rig and a, and a cart, you, you would connect the, the, um, the pulse to your app using Ethernet. Uh -huh. And then you don't have to use Wi-Fi. Uh -huh. So you're using Ethernet for the robust comms, yes. and then you're using our, our own wireless protocol for robust wireless, and you don't need the Wi-Fi. It's ideal. It's an ideal solution. Uh, when is this available? This will be shipping in May, towards the end of May, so within about a month from now. Uh-huh. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you very much. You're welcome.